Now I'd like to comment, if I may, on the public session that we hosted yesterday. First of all, we sincerely appreciate the input of all who participated in our open forum. As I said then, and will say again, our Chancellor and her administration felt very strongly that the board should participate fully in this very important session, and we did. We listened and we heard. We heard many thoughts and many options suggested by our 28 speakers. We also heard much passion, much emotion, together with many very personal experiences which reinforce our opposition to white supremacy and racism in all forms. Many may see this as the beginning of a new process but it is actually the continuation of a board process which began more than four and a half years ago when this board considered the renaming of Saunders Hall. That process was inclusive, thoughtful, and deliberative and was built on listening and gathering as much relevant information and thought from each and all of our constituencies. We will do that again uh, in this particular situation over an appropriate period of time. The Saunders Hall process led the board on a one and a half year journey and to the decision to rename the building and to pass resolutions supporting our very involved work with the Chancellor's historic task force to contextualize McCorkle Place and the entire campus, and we continue to do that. That process, while similar in nature and in complexity, is different from the current process because under our shared governance structure, we, our institution, had then the ultimate authority to make a final decision. This current situation is different because of delegated authority issues and current state laws. These are the facts. We live with them. But we will not stop considering all legal options available. We are supportive of and committed to working with our chancellor and her administration to develop the very best possible solution available to us. Thank you. That concludes my remarks.